Hi, movie buffs. I love the original Clash of the Titans. But for all its cheesiness and campiness, I've always thought it's a great candidate for a remake. Well, I was wrong. The premise is more or less the same. Perseus, the demigod, must go on a quest to save the city of Argos from dueling gods. There's Zeus, Liam Neeson in a thankless role, duking it out with Hades, the god of the underworld, played by the scene-stealing Rail Fiennes, whose performance I admired even though he's just doing a variation of his Lord Voldemort character from the Harry Potter films. When he talks like this... My child waits to do your will. Propelling audiences into the Clash of the Titans world is Sam Worthington. The Avatar star steps into Harry Hamlin's sandals as Perseus, but he failed to fill in Hamlin's togas. As much as I admire Worthington, he lacks the battered innocence that Hamlin exuded in the origin. And if you're romantically inclined and want to see the romance between Perseus and Andromeda, you're out of luck. The new version is more about Perseus and his mysterious spiritual guide Io. I've watched you all your life. The 1981 film took us deeper into the cloudy relationship between gods and humans. The remake, directed by the incredible Hulk's Louis Letillier, is more interested in big battle scenes. But the filmmakers did a good job in paying homage to the original. All your favorite mythical creatures are back. Medusa, my favorite from both the old and the new, is back. Pegasus also makes a grand entrance, only this time he's been turned into a black beauty. Even Bubo, the Owl of Brass, makes a comical appearance. Also making a comeback is the scorpion-like Scorpiox, bigger and meaner. And I would be lying to you if I told you I did not enjoy hearing... Release the Kraken! Yes, folks, the Kraken, the mythical sea monster of gargantuan size, is still the star of the film's monstrous finale. But in the end, I'm left wondering if children will be affected by the remake as I was by the original. When they look up at the skies, will they be able to recognize the constellation of Perseus, or Andromeda, or Pegasus? And for that, Clash of Titans gets two and a half Greek mythology kisses. So there you have it, movie buffs. Clash of the Titans, the remake, is missing one key ingredient. And that is magic. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, having a bad hair day. <laughs>